Hello and welcome to How To Tuesdays. Today we are going to be doing some Steam backups. I'm going to show you two different ways. They're very easy both ways, but uh, the one way is the way I kind of made myself and I prefer because I think it's a bit more reliable. So let's get right into it. Okay, so uh, let's get right into this. I'm not going to waste any time. This is actually going to be quite a long video. Um, if I'm going to try to make it as short as possible, but there's still a lot of steps to be involved. So basically, there's two ways, as I explained in the beginning. Copying your Steam Apps folder and using the Steam Utility. Now, the Steam Utility, I find, is good for doing single game backups. Copying your Steam Apps folder is good for copying your entire Steam library. Uh, reason being, I find the Steam Backup Utility is very, let's say, unreliable, and it only works some of the time. Um, so... I don't really like it. I've had bad success with it, but it did work this time when we were doing this video. Uh, so, how do you back up your Steam Apps folder? Well, there's you have to find where your Steam is installed. Now, most people probably install it on their C drive because they probably only have one hard drive. That's great because that makes it really easy to find it. Because the default install location will be you go to Computer, C drive, and you go Program Files, and then you go Steam, and then Steam Apps, and copy the Steam Apps folder. Now, wait before you do that, you got to make sure. Is your system 64-bit or 32-bit? Because if it's 32-bit, the first way I just told you right now, clicking on your program files and then going down to Steam, it's going to be there. If you're 32, if you're 64-bit, now it's not going to be there because program files, straight up program files, is only for 64-bit only applications. Now there's a program files x86 file which is meant for all 32-bit applications, where you will find your Steam folder. So as simple as finding that. So you're going to go computer. Uh, local disk C, program files x86, go down to the Steam folder, then you're going to copy the Steam Apps folder. Now, for me, it's different, again, because I've installed another drive. So I'm going to go to my D drive, where I have it installed, it's my Steam drive, and because my main drive is only 70 gig, because it's a WD Raptor. So, I got my Steam drive, now this is going to be the same for everyone now that I'm here. So I'm in the Steam folder, we're going to go down to the Steam Apps, we're going to copy that. Oop, 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 oop. Don't want to do that, do not want to do that. Okay, we're going to copy that. And then we're going to toss that somewhere else. So uh, you're going to throw this on an external hard drive or something, or a network drive or a, a Blu-ray or something, because your Steam, fo your Steam folder is usually very, very large. And um, I don't, I haven't tried WinRARing or compressing it. See if you can make it smaller, but I don't think you can. So I have this set up on a uh, network attached storage, and it's sitting on my main PC that has 10 terabytes of hard drive space. So I'm going to toss this in my laptop folder because. That's um, my laptop and my uh, second PC use the exact same Steam account, and they um, both have the same games. So we're going to copy, paste this onto here. It's going to take a little bit. It's about 40 gig. I'll come back, and I'll show you what to do once you restore it. Okay, so now that, so let's say, hypothetically, you have formatted your PC, and now you want to restore your backup. So how to do that? Grab your driver wherever you saved it. As you can see, my Steam has no games in it at all. We're going to take that folder. We're going to... Uh, copy it and we're going to navigate to where we installed steam so wherever your steam is installed on your new pc you're going to uh, copy and paste the steam apps folder and we're going to let that copy and i'll be back when it's done all right so now that the backup is done you can see that um, my steam apps folder is copied you can see that in steam without restarting because before you actually have to restart steam for this to work you don't now uh, it shows that uh, all the games are installed. It just says download paused. So basically, all you have to do is click on the games and just say resume the, the update. So how do you do that? You got to right click on the game, say resume update as you would normally. You have to update the game and uh, away it goes. So it's pretty simple. So it's going to go ahead and it's going to update the games. Now, if this was an older backup, uh, like I used in this video, some of the games might be a little out of date or say if they're missing a file or something like that, something didn't quite copyright, it's going to update the game. It's going to make it just like the way the game was originally. So that's, that's also good. Now, there's going to be no desktop shortcuts or any of that stuff added, or you're not going to see any of the games in your add and remove section, but um, whatever, it's still fine. So, um, that's okay. So, uh, that's that. And now I'm going to show you how to do the other way to back up Steam games. So, basically, um, we have Alien Swarm and we... Uh, let's, let's back up Alien Swarm because so it seems to be done. Um, 
Actually, let's get, yeah, let's get Counter-Strike going too, because that'd be a good game to back up as well. So, okay, so we're going to go down. We're going to uh, restore backup. Ooh, that doesn't look right. Hmm. Uh, you know what? Give me two seconds. Let me come back. I'm going to figure out what the heck's wrong with this. All right, so what I was trying to show you to do is actually do a proper backup using the Steam Backup Utility. So to do it, it and that's how it's supposed to look, not the way it looked before. Now, if you had a lot of games, you would have a big list of games, like, on my other PC, I have about 400 gig worth of games. So there's about 120 games, and there's like a lot of stuff. And you can just you can check off whatever games you want. It'll show, it'll show you exactly how big it is. And then you're gonna click next. It's gonna ask you where you want to save it. And then you're gonna click next again, and it's gonna say, and you can name it whatever you want. And then you can say what disk size you want, and it'll show you how many disks it will be if you're saving on a DVD or a CD. Or you can go to custom, and this is what I like to do. I like to make one file, and you just go. Um, I just gotta find my number locks here. Okay, there it is. Nine 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 nine, and there you go. You got one disc, <laughs> and then that works. So it just makes it one file, and it works. But sometimes it doesn't work all the time. Even though it says there's going to be one file, it just says, "Oh wait, where's the second file?" But there is no second file. So sometimes it glitches out. But you know what? Um, it works and doesn't work sometimes. I've had it work and I've had it not work, so I'm not sure. And I've had it fail on DVD settings and CD settings. I've only had a few times success with this. And if anyone's ever had success with this backup utility, please leave in the comments if you have. And how often do you actually, does this work utility work for you? So then you would hit next and we're gonna, we're gonna let it, and now it's gonna start backing up. It's gonna take a couple minutes, depending on how big the backup is and just let it run. All right, so it looks like our Steam backup was successful. That's great. So that's like a one in a million chance for me that actually working. I'm quite surprised. So it's good that it actually worked for this video. Anyways, so you hit open the folder and it shows where it was saved to. And it shows, hmm, it looks like I backed up the <laughs> data feed. Anyways, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to delete my Alien Swarm because that was the game we backed up. So I'm deleting Alien Swarm. And it's going to let it delete. Come on, let's go. Hurry up. Come on. Stupid slow hard drives. It's not like an SSD. Anyways, so Alien Swarm is now out of the list. It's not installed. I don't know why it's not showing. Uh, it, Alien Swarm is a free game by Valve. Anyways, so we're going to go into the folder. We're going to go to disk one, and then we're going to click on... We're going to go to Steam Backup, and then we're going to click on Restore Alien Swarm Setup. Or Restore Alien Swarm Backup, I mean. And it's going to be named whatever you named it. And now it's going to pop up. Oh, there it is. Oh, my computer's going really slow. Okay, click next. What's happening? Nothing's happening. Holy, this thing's slow. Hmm. Oh, wait, what do we got down here? Just go away. Okay, next. And now it's going to start restoring it. So we're going to let it restore the backup, install the game, and it's going to be just like the way it was first installed. It'll take a few minutes, depending on how big your game is. Uh, all right, so it looks like our Steam backup was successful. That's awesome. So that's like a one million chance for me. Half the time, it does not work. But hey, look at that. It worked. So, you know, I usually have it fail on bigger games that require more than one DVD. So it looks like it worked. So this was only a two gig game. So it worked fine. So that's good. Um, anyways, so now it looks like it's loaded. And it says, view Steam Mario, so we're going to hit finish. And then you can see the game is now installed. And a couple of other games are still updating because I didn't really get them to finish. But it usually takes too many seconds. So there you go. That's it. That's how you back up Steam using my way of backing up the Steam apps folder or backing up Steam using the Steam way, using the Steam backup utility. They're both very simple, both very easy to use. Um, use whatever way you prefer. Now, keep a note, this does not back up your um, save games. Now, most of the, you're going to have to find out where the save games are backed up. You know, on most situations, I can't, I don't know where every game save game is backed up. So do not ask me because I don't know. Um, you're going to have to look up on the Internet. Go use the Google. Um, and if you do ask me, I'll just direct you to a link that says, let me Google that for you just saying but anyways guys if you enjoyed our how to tuesday video this week please check back next week for another how to tuesday video please remember to click that subscribe button up top if you'd like to see more videos like this reviews unboxings and news and also if you found this video informative and you can you know you found it you actually learned something please remember to click that like button and for favorite button all right guys we'll see you next time and uh this has been the techsource.tv hosted by dan see ya